I'm Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to this special web address today. November 25th marks the 10th anniversary of the creation of the Department of Homeland Security, which pulled together nearly two dozen federal agencies and departments under the control of a new single entity. Its responsibilities include running the U.S. Border Patrol to the Plum Island Animal Disease Center to FEMA. DHS is the third biggest cabinet agency, but are we any better off because of its existence? Here are three reasons to get rid of DHS. Come join the Homeland Security team. In the months immediately following the 9-11 attacks in 2001, President George W. Bush initially resisted calls to create a new high-level bureaucracy that would be laid on top of current activities. He was right to recognize that coordinating existing agencies would have been better and smarter. Unfortunately, he caved in to pressure to create a massive new department. Come join the Homeland Security team. To read the titles of Government Accounting Office or GAO analyses of Homeland Security is to be constantly reminded that DHS is never quite on top of its game. Recent reports include DHS requires more disciplined investment management to help meet mission needs. DHS needs better project information and coordination among four overlapping grant programs. And Agriculture Inspection Program has made some improvements, but management challenges persist. Come join the Homeland Security team. Last year, Homeland Security spent a whopping $60 billion, a figure that will doubtlessly increase in coming years. The construction of its new headquarters, the single largest project ever undertaken by the General Services Administration, will cost at least $4 billion and is already years behind schedule since breaking ground in 2009. Since it's the holiday season, here's a bonus reason to get rid of the Department of Homeland Security. It also runs the Transportation Security Administration, whose nasty reputation for manhandling innocent travelers is only slightly more annoying than its massive and undeserved growth in personnel and cost over the past decade. For Reason TV, I'm Nick Gillespie.